I think more and more in the digital age, it's all about ideas like that, you know, or like Twitter or Facebook or, you know, those little genius ideas that kind of people can share online and get involved in, and Bobcom hopefully will become one of those. It's incredible, I can't believe that. Everyone is the most famous studio in the world. Bobcom's given that to us. We are forever in Bobcom's debt. We are, we are, seriously, you know, we're going to kiss the ground when we've been there. really good idea. It's a very bold idea in this climate when it's all about shifting units and territories. It's probably a good thing to go back to grassroots level and pay back the people who uh, make the music and create the music. Welcome to the world of Bobcom. You can also sell your shoes, I need to sell your t-shirts and your merchandise and all that, and your shoes. That's the whole deal, it sounds, you think, what am I think of it? <laughs> What I think of Bobcom, I think it's a fantastic opportunity. So the more the merrier that come to this and build and build and grow, the better it will be. Being in Pin Ice is difficult. Without financial backing, without bookers, without managers, without people going to front you for recording time and stuff, it can be really difficult. But Bobcom, on sign show, things are happening, people are taking notice of, of, of uh, upcoming talent, and luckily the tide is turning at last.